come join me for a tour with Doug and Mindy Ashwood of their 1992 MCI Dream Bus Annie. So this week we took a little break from our bus to help our friends Doug and Mindy with Dream Bus Annie to work on their bus. Now they saw our entrance doorway on our MCI, liked it so much they asked me to copy it on theirs. So before, in order to lock their door, they had to use the key from inside or outside every time. There was actually no door handle on the bus. So we inserted a door handle. Nos amis Doug et Mindy de l'île du Prince Edouard avec leurs autobus Dream Bus Annie sont venus nous visiter. Ils nous ont aidé à travailler sur notre autobus. Donc, en retour, on les a aidés avec une coupe de projets sur le leur. Sylvie, elle a montré à Doug comment polir le stainless. On voit les résultats, ça l'a très bien sorti. Et ils ont vu notre porte d'entrée sur le note, donc on l'a copié. Uh, and while they were here, Sylvie also taught Doug how to polish stainless. And he... Uh, went to town and did a great job. But back to the door handle. So as I said before, the only way to close it was with the lock. Now they have the same door handle we do. So it's a very easy door handle to operate. Inside their finish looks great. So we added this, a hole in a plate there. And I made the striker plate to fit the bus. Donc j'ai fabriqué ce plaque là pour que tout se tient en place parce que la porte elle reste amovible même quand elle est fermée quand on part l'autobus il y a un petit valve à l'air qui fait que la porte va rentrer un autre corps de pouce fait que ceux qui venaient avec l'usine ça fonctionnait pas pour ça donc j'ai été obligé d'en fabriquer un qui a une course un peu plus grande When we close the door and start the bus up there's a, what's called the claw and it's this part here so this comes out and grabs the door there. So it looks like a door handle, but this is actually that piece comes out and does this. Donc la pièce qu'on que vous ai montré ici dans la porte, elle vient, elle pogne ça puis elle tire la porte légèrement pour vraiment la sceller. That keeps the door nicely sealed going down the road. So in order to accommodate that, I couldn't use the stock piece here. I had to use, I had to make a piece with a little longer throw to it. And now the door closes as it should. Maintenant la porte à femme, elle reste fermée avec un beau petit bruit satisfaisant. Hey everyone, I'm here with Doug Ashwood. They spent some time with us. We did a few things on their bus and they helped us with our bus. So thought we'd do a little tour of their bus. Very interesting. Dream Bus Annie is the name of the bus. Correct. And they're from Prince Edward Island. Now here's a map of everywhere they've been. Uh, where is PEI, Doug? Prince Edward Island is up here in the East Coast. So for those of you in the US, you'll uh, be able to situate where Doug and Mindy are from. We do a lot of our traveling. We love to travel down through California, uh, various parts through Ontario, coming down through Ontario. Uh, last winter I went down 95, picked up Highway 10 and went across into Arizona and decided to dip into Baja, California and spend some time down there with a bit of an incident, but managed to get through it and absolutely loved the people and found it a very, very beautiful, beautiful place to be and parked myself on the beach, which is really nice. The nice part, Dream Bus Annie um, started, it ran between Dallas and Mexico City, so it was nice because it never seen any of our north, northeast um, Canadian, Canadian winters and salt is nice. We have about 1,000 to 1,200 watts of solar coming in and one of the big changes we made thanks to Ivan and Sylvie um, this trip was putting in eight lithium batteries to help with our boondocking because we don't like to stay anywhere if we can we love our Walmarts uh, Lowe's or Home Depot's and wherever we can stay so that's that's pretty nice um, we have a hundred hundred gallon uh, clean water tank there's our storage for our battery bank and our MPPT controllers. Run up to the roof. The middle bay is complete storage for anything I manage to pick up along the way and, and want. And this is our storage for our 100 gallons of clean water tank, uh, toilet, and, and gray water. 100 gallons of clean and 55 gallons of gray water. Now what's the bus? The bus is uh, a 1992 
102C3. Um, one of the reasons we fell in love with the bus was the unusual part is it originally came out of the factory with an L10, but they converted it to an M11, which is the same platform, just a little bit more horsepower. Yeah. So a Cummings power. Cummings. Yeah. As opposed to the more traditional Detroit diesel. Yes. So originally we had it imported to Canada, uh, went through that to get it through and found out when we pulled the computer, it had 1.2 million miles on it. And that's my rattle can bit of a paint job to try and clean her up a little bit. Yeah. So it doesn't stand out so much. So it kind of cleaned up nice. Now, the interesting part about the back, you notice the um, license plate. This is our second yeah. bus. Yeah. Two uh, HP had significant value to us because the 8B71 was two horsepower climbing up hills, mountains. <laughs> when we hit the six and seven percent grades, we thought yeah. that was appropriate. Yeah. So you had a. Uh... An MC9 before. We had an MC9 before, which is now, we've just found it recently, in the middle of getting redone as well in the U.S., Wisconsin area, I believe. And that mural up there. The mural on the back is significant because that's a picture I took with my 35 mil cannon, and then I had it blown up to a, um, what do you call it? Poster size. Poster size, and then uh, put it on the back. So that's a picture out our backyard. We sit on the ocean, the river that goes out, and sometimes we're lucky enough to get out and see seals come in and get out and watch ocean, get out and watch the uh, whales coming in from the ocean, but we head out to the ocean to do that. Beautiful. Now the significance to the side, Mindy just made this, my wife. Yeah. The uh, lo lo looks to be a chess board, as I used to be rated as a, as a chess player when I was younger. So that's significant to me. Yeah. So she made that up with the compass being our adventures and wherever wherever it takes us is where we go. So everything everything on the bus works off of the solar, including, which is pretty nice, it's a pretty nice handy thing to have, our washing machine. So that's a combo um, splendid washer dryer. We don't use the dryer so much because the coach is big enough we just dry everything inside, but the washing machine we do use a lot. Yeah. And in here is the uh, gen set you own and we got a 5500 watt gen and that charges up when we're on the road and, and on the move in what would have been the old ac uh, compartment we took out because of uh, the upkeep and the amount of money involved in doing that we now have a mini split that gives us both ac and heat while we're going down the road through our uh, battery bank or our gen set excellent so the the yellow on the side, which is pretty neat, is not paint, but actual wrap. And we did it ourselves. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. It only cost us $180 to do it, but we managed to do it ourselves. It's a straight line of 24 inches anyways, going across. So they sell it as a rule in 24 inches. So you can do it that way and, and keep it simple. We yes. left all the windows all, uh, in the bus because that was a preference, but their single pane is the, we'll go inside and details on that so one of the features here Ivan was a real nice bonus for was the installation of a new door which is pretty important because we were leaking a lot of water it wasn't sealing properly but now as you can see it closes just like that it's pretty sweet Ivan Ivan and Sylvie did a beautiful job Ivan did a remarkable job on his ability to manage. So the chessboard is replicated there again. So this is replicated uh, via my tattoo I have on my arm that I did. Again, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, any work that I do, maybe on an RV or something, I do put that signature on everything I do. If it's ours. If it's ours. Yeah. So the dash, the dash I redid myself. It took it took a lot of work and get it close to what I wanted to do. But our, our theme in the bus is maple, and we stayed with the theme um, that way. So radio-wise, we decided to go with satellite. Um, that way, for the most part, unless we're traveling north, we have a signature, but I got to get the antenna outside onto the roof. That's the key for that, why it's not working 100%. So the flooring, is, is hardwood is actual hardwood maple 
And the neat thing about what we did with our theme is renovations people didn't want. So get on Craigslist or Kijiji and source out 120 feet a square foot is more than enough to do the living area. And you can get relatively cheap because so many people buy too much on what they're doing for their renovations. And that, that's where I source it out and do a lot of our work. Mandy's done a lot of the um, upholstery. We redid ourselves to match each other. And the curtains, what's neat about the curtains is they're triple layer for our Canadian winters and they actually zipper together all the way up to the front and around. So the roll top desk, we picked up, we picked up in Vegas where we were traveling through Vegas uh, again on Craigslist. Somebody happened to have it for sale, so we thought it would fit appropriately in our theme and she, Mindy wanted the desk. So that's where we want with that. And these here are vintage, vintage Martha Washington. We had two, but we decided because of our room to take one out and we, we sanded it all down and repainted it or stained it based on based on the colors that we're using in the bus. Okay, you can see through the front there where the mini split main unit is, comes in. Um, so that's 9,000 BTUs and we find it works out into about the kitchen or halfway down the bus, so about 20, 25 feet. It does work for us and gives us both heat and AC, which is nice. Um, we use the fantastic fans on the roof as well, which we really like. The, um, the Onan, the Onan uh, generator also has a start in the front in the dash, which is pretty nice. That means we don't have to go outside and start it up. Big okay, demand. so um, we left the emergency hatches in, and what we did was we made up some screens for the flies and the bugs so that we can leave the hatches open. And sometimes, actually, we'll lock these in and leave them locked in if we're going down the road, not at a, a high rate of speed but we might be doing 50 miles an hour, 80 kilometers an hour, and she'll lock in. And this opens via the front and the rear runs open via the back side area. So having the emergency hatch uh, is really nice because the airflow, it gives us a lot of airflow. We're playing a little bit with um, trying to use, introduce a little bit of propane. Otherwise we've had, we have no propane in our coach at all. But we find that in the Canadian winters, we're not warm enough. So we're trying to put a little propane heat in it and try and help ourselves. I think next winter we're going to be making some. That's the nice thing about uh, converting your own bus is in the next year or so, we're going to change a few things up from the kitchen area, uh, behind the kitchen area back. We're going to redo a few things we've decided after this trip that we're not completely happy with. We have two little Yorkies that travel with us all the time. <laughs> so there are... Did you do? Yep, there are uh, love and joy traveling around the road. I just um, installed the kitchen area. The dinette. Dinette. Uh, Minnie does a lot of sewing. She carries at least two, if not three, sewing machines with her at all times. Mm -hmm. She's uh, a big quilter and loves the 221 and 222 singers. So if your quilters out there are sewing enthusiasts, don't <laughs> don't uh, don't hesitate to contact us because Mindy does do a lot of cleaning. She does pick up a lot of things here and there and and helps people out where she can. Cleaning, yeah. I repair things. Repairing. <laughs> well, then you can. And if it's you good. have a Singer two twenty one and two twenty two to donate. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> yes, she's big on the sewing machines. The Singer in particular, the two twenty two and two twenty ones. I've only got about twenty Singers at home. So the, the fridge runs off of um, the 3000 watt, which I didn't mention down below. So we run a 3000 watt Xantrex, uh, 12 volt. Inverter. Uh, maybe down the road, I'd like to go to 24, I think is a better solution because our alternator is 24 volts. Come on. And uh, thanks to Ivan, we now um, our help, battery help with that with uh, 2000 watt inverter, strictly for the hot water tank, because it's electric as well. So and it's a standard household fridge. Yeah. Standard household fridge. And plug in. So in the kitchen area, you can see the glass on um, retro. Uh, again, they were takeouts from an old RV that was um, was being scrapped. Basically, we loved the the glass part of it, so we took the glass out um, and had these made up for us to match our kitchen and the mirror. The concept behind the mirror is to give it a, a, a larger depth, but we went with a larger kitchen. As you can see, it's, it gives Mindy a platform to do her sewing is, is yep. where Mindy benefits from. 
that large platform. I have a 24 by 36 cutting mat that fits on this one end. So Ivan again helped us this one here. We've been struggling with uh, one of the big factors is um, Keep the cupboards, them. keeping the cupboards closed while traveling down the roads. In PEI or on the East Coast in particular, we have a lot of roundabouts. <laughs> so when you're going around the roundabouts, everything a... flies open, including the fridge goes on the side. So we lock it in with strapping is what we find works very well for right us. Right to the wall. And we use now, uh, thanks to Ivan, cut a couple boards for us. Keep it simple is the theme. No matter how silly that may seem, the simpler it is, the less problems you have because mm -hmm. we've tried a lot of locks. You can see holes and stuff in the cupboards or locks and everything else we'll have to clean up, but it just didn't work the way we really wanted it to. So Ivan cut these um, support boards and that's tight. <laughs> yeah. So these, these boards here slip up underneath. Under the lip of the counter. Under, under the lip. Push it in. Come up the and then they push in like so and then lock the cupboards in place so they don't move. Some of them have locks on them like that we just lock down. So that way that helps us here that way. Up here in the top which is nice which is cool about these things is they roll up and fold in. Fold the pan. So that way that's our stove. A pan um, there. And that's a simple Walmart find or mm -hmm. box store find for uh, our stove feature. It's that allows convection us convection oven. Convection and our countertop we use induction. So that that gain. The nice thing about the induction is we can control the amount of wattage we use, which is really helpful. So coming down here, we have a built-in pantry that pulls out so that we store all our food in, which is pretty handy to have. And again, I went with the uh, the window, the glass windows, which is really nice. And here uh, is our is our solar array with our winter coats and our winter profile and our jackets. So that's where our all our electric cupboard is. And then just out behind this so door you, here. One sec, Doug. Just so you can say. Nice and simple. That's our our bathroom area. For toilet? For now. And you can lock someone in. <laughs> now, that's original from the bus. The washroom side? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So that was a unique feature that we kept in there, the washroom sign. So the ID being occupied, that was in the tail end of the bus. So you come back to the back end of the bus and you can see we have a full, uh, a lot of compliments about what we did with the shower. But uh, we use a full a full shower and actually a tiling that's Mindy's work. She's pretty handy about some of the stuff she does. A lot of the stuff she does actually. She did the electrical. She done the uh, tiling in the bus. Um, the roof. The roof is all pine. Uh, we call it in the East Coast. We call it cottage pine. I went through about five or six various platforms to use. But the nice thing about this is it has grooves. So when I came to the MCI's uh, rounded corners, so I could cut the groove, I could cut along the groove, and that allowed me to actually go around the corner. So that that best suited um, the platform for giving it, giving it a unified look. The windows all open out, which is nice. So Mindy put these uh, shears. Put the shears on, so we can pull it up, and then we we okay. So we had been asked about um, what we use for our windows openers. As you can see, we stayed with the same, but I just made a I made a um, pine board. I cut a pine board down, basically, really from from our roof our roof edge to match, and then I cut it down to augment the, or, or complement our our windows, and then we put handles on them, and they open out, so we can open up whenever we want, which we love to do, and allow airflow. And that, just doing that. Nice and simple. Create yeah. a lot of airflow. Once yeah, again, definitely a lot of airflow. keep it yeah. simple. Keep it simple. So the cupboards behind, these are all, we took Dresser. uh, dressers and cut them down. We picked up a dresser, again off of Kijiji or Craigslist, and then cut it down to fit into our corner each side. 
So that way we had cupboards for socks, uh, undergarments, and Holy. everything you may not, mm -hmm. may, may want. <laughs> and there's Joe. Uh, the kids are playing. Yeah, it's yeah, time kids to are, play. Kids are playing. Yeah, That's so, their plan. And the curtains back here are also three ply. They have blackout material inside. So when I say blackout, yes, it's black in here at nighttime. I went with a black curtain on the back yep. because once again the windows are dark if you put something white there you will see it you put something dark there it disappears and it's a heavy actually um velvety material it's actually quite heavy yep. fabric and then once again like we just went to keep it pretty and make it match we just made our bedroom our bedroom <laughs> again in our travels yeah. um getting on on craigslist or kijiji we came across somebody who was clearing out fabrics. Fabrics. Um, so Mindy keeps a pretty close eye on fabrics to may, <laughs> may want or need or our future needs. So we're able to pick it up and store it, which is nice having the storage mm -hmm. for what we want for future. This is um, one of my quilts that I've made. Yes, and being a quilter. Again, it's three layers. is batting inside and it's very warm. So we cannot say we don't have enough blankets. All right, so coming around the side, which is kind of... It, no, I want to show something here, which oh, is kind of cute. Um, which for, I want. For the dog lovers. Yep. Pass me that. Um, if you come around the side, you can see we actually made... I made a dog bed for our little dogs. So in the wintertime, they're good. And that comes in and locks up because they don't sleep with us. They have their own little compartment here, which is also winterized. <laughs> And they have a little bed that slips in there that can be pulled out and washed, cleaned up. It is and it allows the two of them to sleep in there and, and keep each warm. and keep each other company. But mind you, when it is minus thirty, we kind of allow them in yeah. the bed. Yeah. <laughs> We're not very mean. So the the nice thing that the bed probably looks fairly high for a lot of people and it actually is for Mindy, but the neat part here <laughs> is uh, this is this is all storage. There's our storage. There's our storage for a lot of stuff. There's the dog bed. And there's, yep, you can see the dog <laughs> bed. So the engine compartment is under there. But one of the big things you, a lot of people have to put a lot of thought in is, is storage. You've got to create space where what you carry with you, you need to be able to store it. And I do carry quilting along. fabrics. So I usually or, have a Or all her, all her machines that i got to find a place to hide them. No, I don't bring them all. <laughs> At least two. At I, least two. Yeah, there is and actually people, three in here. If at the people moment. need help, then then sometimes many there, means, and yeah. and it's neat because we are in California, and um, Minnie made contact with a special friend who actually came down with a two twenty two, two twenty. Oh, sorry, I got I got stood corrected, <laughs> and and ended up sewing together while I went out and did some golfing. So if there's any guys out there that like to golf and want to contact I me, know. I love love to go golfing. So yeah. Thanks for the tour. Oh, you're very welcome. Wonderful bus. Thank you. And uh, next time it'll be a little different. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fun thing about a bus conversion is you can always do it yourself. Yeah. And the special thing about a bus conversion is you look back and you did the work yourself and feel very proud and very yes. and very nice showing people. We do feel accomplished with this bus. Yes, yeah. with everything you've accomplished with the bus. Yeah, no, definitely. You've done a great job. I give a a little look going from the back to the front. What's the significance of Dream Bus Annie? This is our dream. And Annie, if you recall, we all live in Prince Edward Island. And so Anne with an E, and Shirley is a big PEI um, theme. Well, Doug's late mom's middle name is Anne, hence Annie. She's named after Doug's mom. That's where we live. And we have a toad that um, we pull behind, a Jeep, and his name is actually Albert. So we have Annie and Albert when we're driving, and Albert is after my father's middle name. So they actually match. Very good. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome, Ivan. Thank you. Oh, oh.